Hi friends, in this episode we will see about boiler. What is a boiler? Boiler is a closed vessel in which water can be fed and it is converted into steam continuously by applying heat. The steam generated can be superheated under pressure for many applications in many types of industries. What is steam? The vapor of water which is colorless, expansive, that steam can be expanded and it's also invisible gas. Steam is classified as saturated steam, dry steam, wet steam, superheated steam and highly superheated or gaseous steam. Saturated steam is the steam at a particular temperature due to its pressure. That is boiling point of a water at a particular pressure is called saturated steam. During the saturated condition, the rate of rate at which water vaporizes is equal to the rate at which it is condensed. That is a saturated condition. When you give heat, the rate of evaporation is same as rate of condensation when cool cold is applied to the vapor. So that condition is called saturated condition. Steam is further classified as wet steam. The steam containing moisture, water vapor, mist or spray is called wet steam. Dry steam, the steam containing no moisture or water vapor is called dry steam. It may either be saturated steam or superheated steam. That dry steam is normally used for oil tank heating. Whether the oil is heavy fuel oil or low sulfur ice stock in the steam coil for the tank. And also as atomizing steam in the burner nozzle in which the liquid fuel is used for effective combustion. If you use uh, superheated steam in place of dry saturated steam, thermal cracking will occur. Instead of uh, oil firing, it will lead to gas firing and further explosion in the burner tip itself. So we have to use dry saturated steam for steam atomization in the burner nozzle and liquid fuel is used as fuel. Superheated steam, steam having a temperature higher than the corresponding temperature to its pressure. Superheated steam is used mainly in steam turbines in power plant or as a prime over in the industrial application. Also in process heating and for food blowing in boiler. Soot blowing is normally done in each and every shift to remove the soot. For that we have to use only superheated steam. If it is a dry saturated steam or dry steam Moist, if it is when, when it comes in contact with the soot, soot blower in the external application, the pipeline, moisture will form and it will stick in the suits. So that cannot be removed and it that will lead to failure of heat transfer. It, that will reduce the heat transfer rate. So we have to use superheated steam only for soot blowing. A very particular application is. Superheated steam is in the same boiler soot blowing, particularly in solid, solid fire firing and uh, oil firing. It is used. Gaseous steam is highly superheated steam that is also used in power plant and steam turbines. Further, steam is classified based on pressure also. Low pressure steam is less than 15 psi or 1.03 bar, but normally in the in Industrial application variously it is considered as less than 5 bar is considered as low pressure steam. It is used in reboilers and in steam coils. Medium pressure boiler is between 5 bar to 21.5 bar. It is used in process applications. High pressure steam which is above 25.5 bar mainly in steam turbines and power plants and as a prime over in place of motors. Also in some process where we require to operate steam at high pressure is used. Heat. Heat is a form of energy in bodies consisting of molecular vibration. That it is a form of energy known by its effects, either by touch or feeling, as well as by expansion, fusion, combustion, or by operation of the matter upon which it acts. That is, when heat is applied, that energy will act on the matter. When it is called sensible heat, the heat which produces a rise in temperature, that is called sensible heat. Latent heat, 
the quantity of heat required to change the state or condition under which a substance exists without changing its temperature that is latent heat is the temp heat, heat applied at boiling point at which the water is converted completely into water vapor or steam that heat is called latent heat temperature which indicates how hot or cold a substance is it is a measure of sensibility measure of sensibility is called the temperature how it is transferred it is normally transferred by three methods radiation conduction and convection all three is applied in the boiler conduction is the transfer of thermal energy through direct contact direct contact by metal Convection is the transfer of thermal energy through movement of a liquid or gas. Liquid in the gas heated by the flow gas. Radiation is the transfer of thermal energy through thermal emission which is occur occurred in the superior coils in the furnace itself. So all the three type of heat transfer is occurred in boiler. Radiation in boiler furnace and superior coil zone. Convection, boiler bank tubes, conduction in bank tube areas. what is a fuel a fuel is a substance which will by burning produce heat and light that is called rapid oxidation when fuel is used in boiler or in furnace rapid oxidation takes place which produces heat and light that fuel is classified as solid fuel liquid fuel and gaseous fuel some of the solid fuel are wood coal sawdust bagasse some of the liquid fuel are heavy fuel oil hfo low sulfur ice stock oil lshs light diesel oil ldo methanol and ethanol gases fuel are natural gas lpg liquid petroleum gas producer gas and water gas and fuel is used in a furnace or boiler it is called combustion combustion is rapid acceleration that rapid acceleration is the act of combining with oxygen or the subject to the action of oxygen for combustion the principal elements of coal which contains hydrogen and carbon have an affinity for oxygen when carbon and hydrogen in any fuel combine with oxygen that is the fuel and oxygen unite chemical heat is produced forming carbon dioxide carbon monoxide water and sulfur dioxide if sulfur is present in the fuel complete combustion when the combustible in the fuel unites with the greatest possible amount of oxygen to form carbon dioxide water and sulfur dioxide if sulfur is present in the fuel so for in the complete combustion there won't be any carbon monoxide or black smoke Uh, that is the com combustion is complete incomplete combustion due to insufficient supply of air it forms carbon monoxide and unburned carbon as black smoke with the flue gas excess air used for complete combustion typical excess air is used to achieve the highest possible efficiency for common fuels when natural gas is used it is 5 to 10% and fuel is oil is used as a fuel in a boiler burner we require 5 to 20% it will be 15 to 16% if coal is used in a furnace we can see boiler mounting accessories classification of boilers in the coming episode hope you might have understand what is the basics of boilers steam heat and uh, types of steam do not forget to subscribe or share put your like and comment in the comment box see you in the coming episode